What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back again with some more Mobile Legends and got a couple things to go over real quick. We have been streaming this every day from 10 to one o'clock. That is specific time. So if you wanna come by the stream, please do. And we also are doing contests pretty much every day. If you're in the stream from that time, we randomly are going to be doing giveaways, gonna be doing uh, $10 worth of in-game items. Uh, so you will be receiving those instantly. We already have the code, you can redeem them immediately. We're doing those every day for I don't know how long we're going to continue to do it but we will keep doing them also there's a link in the description check it out it is from kick nine themselves they have basically it's a survey all they want to know is some information back on you about the game uh, there's rules in the link uh, you can see them up there contest is running all through July you can enter it all you got to do is finish the survey and it automatically enters you to win 1000 crystals in the game all right so let's get into it what we're going to do today is I want a new legend so what we're going to do uh, is we're going to actually buy a new legend. I'm going to pop into the shop. And since I've already got a lot of the tanky guys and that's what my runes are set up for, that's what I'm going to be looking at. Uh, we're going to be looking at Darren. All right. So what Darren is, is he's survival physical and he's got control. So he's got a stun. That's basically why he's in the control category that little bit. Uh, his abilities, Mystic Slash casts a magic blade, which deals damage to all enemies it hits. Demon Slash hits a single enemy dealing minor damage and stunning the target while in war demon form cast range is increased to 400 so when you transform which is your ultimate uh, demon blood increases Darren's physical defense and HP regen I'm assuming that's going to be a passive and war demon which is the ultimate transform into a war demon your attack range increased to 500 and your base movement speed increased by 25 normal attacks have extra effects so that is pretty cool uh, so what we're gonna do instead of i don't have the arena tokens i've been spending them on runes and perks so we're gonna buy them with crystals i haven't really been trying to save but this is just what i've saved up in just a couple days from doing playing the game you know i haven't bought any since the last time i went to vip2 and that was only like 17 bucks so we're gonna buy this skin for 4.99 we got a new hero darren that is awesome all right, so let's go back and we're going to take a look at him and we're going to go hard mode in the AI. I'm just doing AI because it's a lot simpler to get into. And here is Darren. Uh, perk wise, yeah, we'll keep with the teleport. Runes are set. It still doesn't tell you the damage. We'll have to wait and uh, get into the game. So let's get in and we will see exactly what Darren is all about. All right, here we go. So Demon Blood, yes, it is a passive. I was assuming that already. Mystic Slash, which is that one. Uh, that, it's all of the enemies. That's probably the one I'm gonna wanna go for to begin with. That's the stun right there. I don't know, we might go with that one first. Uh, which would you choose first? Let me know in the comments below. And we're gonna make a rush for this power up. Being it's AI, they're normally not gonna come contest it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that Slash. Look at the, look at the width on that. Oh my goodness. And we immediately are able to get that one as well. Uh, so you got to be pretty close to get the stun from that until you go the uh, War Demon mode, which basically turns you into a ranged character for I'm not sure how long it stays active. But to begin with, he is a melee. Uh, and once we get some items rolled in and get some gold up, we'll take a look at what item set is recommended for Darren gonna go ahead and take off all right looks like he is recommended this is more of a physical build yeah okay yeah this is basically actually the survival build as you can see it's pretty much the same stuff right there uh, so you're gonna be building him from the recommendations as a survival and check out that stun that goes through everybody and teleport makes it easy to get away all right, that's that is pretty nice. That's that I do have to say that is very nice. All right, they're pushing a little bit too hard. We're gonna go farm. We're gonna go bottom. There's a striker down here that we need to take care of. See if we're able to do him out. He's level three. Let me get that passive. Actually, we're going to dip out, bounce around here, and we're gonna grab this heal, and we're gonna re-engage him. Yeah, he's in the way back. Gonna lock on to him and he's gonna run. Okay. All right, so it's gonna give me the chance to farm this stuff up and get the ultimate. 
All right, you guys ready to test the ultimate out? All right, here we go with the stun. Ultimate. You transform into a beast, and you now have ranged abilities. Oh, he caught me with the ultimate as well. He leveled up during that. So we're down four. Oh, already. Wow. Okay, so I really don't need to be messing around. Uh, the AI for me doesn't seem to be doing too well. So we're going to go back top, actually. We need to help these guys out. What's his base movement speed? Uh, well, it's not base. I have runes on. 344. That's not too bad. All right, we're going to go top, pick up the power buff, and we're going to come in and try to wreck. Got his man to stun. Why did you run? Why did you run? AI's not very smart. All right, well, we didn't get that kill. All right, more movement speed. I'm assuming what we really need to do is just actually farm a good bit and not let my other guys die. All right, Striker just moved up top as well. So we are both all up top. Gonna upgrade that since that seems to be the ranged ability that does a pretty decent amount of damage and it goes through everything. I can't catch him in a stun. Tower's got me targeted. I'm pretty low on health. So let's actually go back. All right, they're all up top, it looks like. Oh, we got one still down here, which is Striker. We're down 0 to 5. Need to bring this back. I need to level up as quick as I can to try to outdo these guys. Uh, what in the world is Striker doing? He's using that wall to protect himself. Oh my goodness. Really? Okay. We might need to rethink this a little bit. I don't recall hard AI being this hard the last time we did it. But, uh, let's see, if we can't get somebody caught up. I got caught in his stun. All right, let's uh, try to utilize this ultimate. Wow, GG, Willen. Okay, if you didn't know Willen's ultimate, he hits pretty much everybody on the map. Doesn't matter where you are, you could be standing right there in your base, you're gonna get hit for a set amount of damage. I believe it's, uh, I think it's a base of like 140, then 240, and then 340 as you level it up. I would have to go back and look at that, but Willen is available for everybody to actually play now. If you played through July the 6th, uh, you can actually get him. Stun him. Come on, let's kill him, kill him, die, die, die. Time to get out. I'm not playing with that anymore. Come back here and heal. We're down eight to zero. Come on, get him. I'm gonna turn it dive. No, I'm not. If I would've stayed in any longer, I would've died there. We have a power up, we're nice. We have a regen. All right, so this ability is up now. Missed him. And I still got targeted by that tower. All right, I'm going to try to utilize that as much as I can. He's just running and gunning. All right, and Willen, he's 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 scary to stay around. That one hit both of them. I don't have anything, so we're going to have to go back. This is not looking good. My team makeup is very terrible. Both of them are very squishy. Uh, especially Willen. He can't take a hit for anything. And I'm pretty sure they're using the recommended builds. But we're going to dive. Oh, get out there. Get out. Get him. Get him. Nobody can focus anything. Everybody runs. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we're going to jungle farm. All right, I, I've got to catch up. I gotta, I gotta get ahead of them in levels. All right, so we're gonna jungle farm it up. We'll go ahead and kill this guy. And I need to check this passive, see exactly what it does. All right, we're on auto attack, so increase his physical defense. Look at him coming out of nowhere. I don't have anything. Oh my goodness. So this is obviously not looking very good for us. He's going to stun, and then he's going to run. Willen, are you going to have anything for him? Come on, Willen. Get something out. 
Come on, Willen. Jeez. Finally, we got our first kill. That took forever. All right, let's go up with this. We're still going to farm while I'm uh, in between top and bottom. I'm going to uh, try to push on a tower. We need a tower kill for that extra gold. As we are severely behind right now. And I'm not sure where Striker is at. Uh, have they already pushed both towers on the bottom? Oh my goodness. Both towers are down. Minions are stuck way back here. This is not good. Already. They have both of them down. All three of them. Wow. Really? Okay, so this is going to take focus on the bottom lane. Because I'm going to have to protect this myself. They're not going to do nothing but die up there. So we are going to take out all these super minions. This is the only way we're going to be able to come back is if I'm able to push this lane and keep it down. As long as they don't die up top constantly, we should be okay. And my damage is terrible. And I know these are super minions, but still, that stuff should be dying a lot quicker than it is. It's only one target on that. I didn't want to get caught with him right there. Especially with a bunch of minions. Increase this. Alright, I forgot that stun does work from a range now. So, let's go back. I think we might have him. We might have him. I'm out of mana. He's running. No, don't target him. Get him. Willen, good job. Finally picking up on something else. All right, we're out of mana completely. Uh, so let's go back. Still got to protect that bottom lane. It looks like minions are pushing on me pretty hard down there. Get healed up. Go right back into it. Help these guys out. Joel, what are you doing? That is why we're losing. The AI for me is just standing there watching me attack stuff. So let's continue pushing bot. This is going to help me level up too because this is a lot of minions. And I need to just keep an eye on... Alright, they're losing up top again. That's Tusker making a move. Alright, let's go this way. We're going to kite him. We're going to kite him as this. Come on! There's so many minions out. Uh, no, no, no. All right, let's run back up here and grab some health real quick. Obviously, okay. And then he shows up. Striker right behind him. Ultimate still down. That was just used it. This is not looking good at all. So Striker is going to come in and try to advance. There's really nothing. I can't get close to him. I have nothing to be able to get close to Striker. So is this a weakness for Darren with the recommended build? You're not able to really counter many casters? Definitely going to have to look into the build. Because look, I'm doing crap for damage. I'm level 11. I'm not, I'm not even critting for barely over 100. This is terrible. Is what is, is his hit points is what he's supposed to rely on? Uh, let's get back through these guys because look how long this is taking no damage whatsoever from this guy and they're just continually gonna push top till they kill off all of my guys up there all right we're maxed on skills now so we should be doing moderate damage right He's not set up for moderate damage. He's set up for survival. That is what his recommended build is. And that's probably why we are doing terrible damage against these guys. And look, Striker's going to come in. All right, let's take him out. We're actually going to win this one. About time. GG. That regen, it does help some. That's one thing he needs is regen. He needs a uh, lifesteal. If you're going to be doing anything with this guy, he's going to need lifesteal. I don't know why I just ran in there like that. I could have done it ranged, but it looks like we're going to get to take a tower. As long as they can hold off 
we'll be okay. I got 20 something seconds left on the ultimate again. Actually helped out pretty good with uh, Striker around. Go ahead, come on. Let's get this stuff killed. Super minions. All right, let's wait on our minions. We've only got one currently running. Why did he target me? I wasn't the first one in. GG. Five more deaths and we lose. That's freaking awesome. And now here comes Striker with. Let me get my ulti off. Get out of his way a little bit. Gonna have to do uh, what we can. Unlock from him. Take some of this stuff out as we're going. Can we come back on him right there? See, that was only 111 crit. No, we're gonna get out damage. He's gonna chase me down. He's got the surfboard. Unless he runs himself, I have no man. I gotta go back. So this is not looking too good at all. Let's check top lane. We got minions at halfway point on the bottom, so we're okay there. These guys are both running. And he comes in, obviously, and gets a stomp, another one off on me. This is a bit ridiculous at how terrible he is with the survival on. Definitely gonna have to go with a different build for this guy. Let's see if we can't sneak up on Striker again. Gonna hit beast mode. Striker, come here. We might be able to take him here. Minions, gonna lock on to him. Gonna get out of the range of these minions, get me some guys up here, do some damage. I think he probably ran, he went mid. Okay, he went mid, let's get him. Gonna kill stuff on the way, not to waste that. And, all right, we got a power buff. Can we do any damage with a power buff? Of course, he comes in with the stun, and then he just jets out. Come on, get him, get him, get him. They stop and mur- oh. This is why we're losing. Stop, then turn around when you're half health. Run back in by yourself and die. GG AI. This has been the longest match I've ever been in. Oh my goodness, especially for AI. Do not go survival with Darren while you are in. If I have to sell the stuff, I'm gonna lose a thousand gold or half the gold from every sale basically. So that's not gonna be really worth it to me because it's too late. It's too late to try to change. I'd lose a lot. And here he comes in, two stuns. Let's see if we can get him baited. Why did that go up there? I should have had him targeted like this. Targeting, targeting. I have him locked. Die, dude, die, die. Okay, that was weird. So they die three more times and we're done for. Go ahead and take some of these guys, super minions. We really, I really need to take this tower down here. As long as they don't die anymore up top, hopefully we'll be okay. I don't see that not happening though, especially with Striker on my tail. You know what, Striker? Come get you some. We'll try it. I'm on half health. I see a power buff. I'm going to run for it. Going to go for this power buff. He's going to chase. He's going to get stunned, though. We got him. We got him. Nice. So after he's actually got more survivability, you can actually come in and do something. Finally, they took this tower here. I'm what? He didn't die. OK, yes, he did. OK, good. He did die. All right, at least they took this tower up here. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, he's low health. Nice. All right, time to make a quick comeback. Wow, this has been the longest and most terrible AI match that I have been in. Not a very good look for uh, Darren. He dodged that, what? And of course he catches me. 
Wow, guys. Mother...